enhancing a presentation with pictures, shapes, and word art. In our visually oriented culture, audience members enjoy viewing effect, effective graphics. Whether reading a document or viewing a PowerPoint presentation, people increasingly want to see photographs, artwork, graphics, in a variety of typefaces. Researchers have known for decades that documents with visual elements are more effective than those that consist of only text because the illustrations motivate audiences to study the material. This project in this module focuses on publicizing a basketball camp held each summer for children. In module one, you selected a theme and then typed the content for the title and text slides. In this module, you will type the slide content for the title and text slides, select a background, insert and format pictures and shapes, and then insert and format word art. Go ahead and open up PowerPoint. Make sure you have a new document. And then type basketball in the search for online templates and themes box. Hit enter and you should have this basketball presentation appear for you. Go ahead and click on the basketball presentation theme to display a theme preview dialog box with a thumbnail view of the theme. Click the create button to download the theme and open a presentation with that theme in PowerPoint. The downloaded theme has nine slides with a variety of layouts. You'll only use four different layouts in this basketball camp presentation, so you can delete the slides you will not need. Click slide three in the slides tab to select this slide. Press and hold the shift key, scroll down, and then click the number thumbnail for slide seven to select slides three through sl seven. Right click any selected slide to display the shortcut menu and click delete slide. Recall from module one that the title slide introduces the presentation to the audience. In addition to introducing the presentation, this project uses the title slide to capture the audience's attention by using title text and an illustration. Display slide one, select the text in the title text placeholder, and then type basketball camp for kids. Click the subtitle text placeholder and type Gilbert Park District. Display slide two. Select the text in the title text placeholder and type learn from pros and make acquaintances. Select the text in the caption placeholder and type, classes meet weekday mornings throughout the summer. Select slide three, and then type, you will L-E-R-N dot dot dot. We want to misspell learn intentionally. Hopefully you should see your red wavy lines letting you know that that is misspelled and that we want it that way. Go ahead and uh, save your document.
and save it basketball camp. Next, we will insert and format pictures in our presentation. Display slide one, and then click insert on the ribbon to display the insert tab. Click on the online pictures. and then do a search for a backboard. I'll select this first one here. So let, click it and then select insert to insert it onto slide one. And we're gonna resize this using the sizing handles. And normally I would not use this, I don't like it. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it because it is too grainy. I don't like that one either. All right, I'm sticking with this one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to drag this until we see this vertical, vertical smart guide right here on the right-hand side of the page until it comes there, and then we're going to click on Release. Here we go. Display slide two, and then right-click the picture to display the shortcut menu. Click on Change Picture. And we're going to search again on Bing. And I want you to type in there Teamwork. We'll see if something comes up. I'm going to try Basket ball team looking for something that maybe has all their hands in I like this one right here we'll go ahead there you can pick something for you that's just okay WNBA here or Olympic team okay I just saw that Diana Taurasi there okay so you can just pick whichever picture you want that has something to do with um, teamwork. So that, that is added in there. A photo's color intensity can be modified by changing the brightness and contrast. Brightness determines the overall lightness or darkness of the entire image, whereas contrast is the difference between the darkest and lightest areas of the image. Select your teamwork photo on slide two, and then click format on the ribbon. Click your corrections button to display the corrections gallery. Scroll down to display the last row of images in the corrections gallery and then point to brightness minus 20 contrast plus 40 percent to display a live preview of these corrections on the picture and you can move around and see what it will do to the picture eventually go back to that minus 20 plus 40 and select and click on that one. 
to apply a picture style. A style is a named group of formatting characteristics. The picture on slide two emphasizes the concept of teamwork in this sport, and you can increase its visual appeal by applying a style. With the slide two picture selected, and the Picture Tools Format tab displaying, click the More button in the Picture Styles Gallery to expand that gallery. Point to Bevel Rectangle in the Picture Styles Gallery to display a live preview of that style applied to the picture in the document. You can do a preview of others and then eventually land back on Bevel Rectangle to select it. To add a picture border. With slide 2 picture still selected, click the picture border arrow to display the picture border gallery. Point to weight on the picture border gallery to display the weight gallery. Point to 6 point to display a live preview of this line weight on the picture. You can point to various sizes and eventually go ahead and click on six point to change a picture border color. The default color for the border you added to slide two picture is white, but you will change the border color to black. With slide two photo still selected, Click the picture border arrow to display the picture border gallery again. Point to black background one. Again, you can point to some various ones to try, but eventually you're going to select black background one. To apply picture effects. In this presentation, the photo on slide two has a brown glow effect and a bevel applied to its edges. With slide two picture still selected, click the picture effects button. Point to glow on the picture effects menu. Point to brown 18 glow. You can get a preview of others and eventually we're gonna land on that brown. Click picture effect again. This time, select Bevel. And this time, we're going to select Angle. Very good. 